They burn my dog. It's protocol. It's what happens. Well, he's only a dog. It seems a little unfair to burn someone's dog. It seems unfair to shoot the dog in the first place. You look exhausted. Are we being listened to? Would it make a difference? Who knows? No, we're not. So you're not here to interrogate me? No. Liar. Tell me, do you believe in evil? I have to. I've seen it. Henry Madsen. Madsen and others like him. Me? Conceivably. What's happening in your marriage, John? Last time I saw you, there was a ring. Is someone else involved? I'm not here to talk about that. Is he handsome? He like that sort of thing. Yeah, I guess. Are you in pain? You can't comprehend love. You'll never be able to comprehend love. Well, did you come here for sex? No. Because you'd be surprised how many men do. And do they have any idea how fatuous they look? Mm, a lot of us are afraid of it. Then why? Why? Because I know you took the gun. Sooner or later, I'll find it. Would that be easy for you if it were true? Why would I do that? Mm, you can help yourself, could you? Well, that's an idea, but you're wrong. There's no gun to find. Mm. It wasn't a rational decision. It was a compulsion. It makes you weak in ways you can't see or comprehend. That compulsion will get you caught. Are you threatening me? Mm -hmm. Because honestly, I wouldn't. Mm, why is that? Oh, really? <laughs> because I'd be hurt and angry. I wonder, why did your wife cheat on you, John? Why would she do that? Is it because you shine so bright? I'm coming for you. Not if I come for you first.